What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I will be doing Chapter 15, Problem 27 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Jural Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 15 is all about oscillations, and in Problem 27, we are trying to find the mechanical energy of a block and spring system. And so we know that mechanical energy is equal to the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. And so we need to solve for each of those, and we'll start with kinetic energy. So Ke is equal to 1 half mv squared, where v is equal to negative omega xm sine omega t plus phi. And in this right here, we have our angular frequency, amplitude, time, and phase shift. And so we can plug that into here. And so we have 1 half m times omega squared xm squared times the sine of omega t plus phi. And we also know that omega is equal to the square root of k over m. And so we can plug that right in. And so we have Ke is equal to 1 half times m times k over m to the 1 half squared times xm squared times the sine of omega t plus phi squared. And so the reason why I wrote this like this is because we have k over m to the 1 half, which is the same thing as the square root of k over m, and then squared, so then this just becomes k over m, and your two m's will cancel out. And so then your kinetic energy is equal to 1 half k x m squared sine squared of omega t plus phi. And then we could do something similar for the potential energy. And so potential energy is equal to 1 half kx squared, where x is equal to xm cosine of omega t plus phi. And so again, we can plug that right into here. And so our PE is equal to 1 half kxm squared cosine squared omega t plus phi. And so what we can do is we can add up both terms. And so we have our mechanical energy is equal to 1 half k x m squared sine squared omega t plus phi plus our p e, which is 1 half k x m squared cosine squared omega t plus phi. And so we can pull out the 1 half k x m squared. And so we get E is equal to 1 half k x m squared of sine squared omega t plus phi plus cosine squared omega t plus phi. And so by trig identities, we know that sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So this entire term right here is actually equal to 1. So E, our mechanical energy, is actually equal to 1 half k xm squared. And so we're actually given all those values in the problem, but they're all given in centimeters, and we're going to want those in meters. So we need to do a little bit of unit conversion. And so k is equal to... 1.3 newtons per centimeter, and we know that there are 100 centimeters in one meter, and so that is going to be equal to 130 newtons per meter. And then we're also given xm, which is equal to 2.4 centimeters. Again, we know that 100 centimeters are in one meter, and so that is going to be equal to 0. 024 meters. And so now we can plug all those values in and we get that E is equal to 1 half times 130 newtons per meter times 
0 0.024 meters squared. And when you plug all that into your calculator, you should get that E is equal to 3.7 times 10 to the negative 2 joules. So that's about it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have a question or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.